Oh, this is awesome! <laughs> it sounds so cool! Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm here with uh, my dad. He's just purchased a brand new, to himself, Harley Davidson. So it's actually a 2005 uh, 1200. Is that 1200 Sportster? 1200 Sportster. 2005, yeah. 2005, and it looks bloody brand new. So you would never tell that it's uh, that it's 2005. But this is actually the first time I've ever ridden a cruiser. So it's going to be interesting experience. My dad tells me I'm going to want one after riding it. I assure you, you will want one. <laughs> we'll see if that's the case. Um, I did sit on it just earlier, and it felt very comfortable. So that's that's my first impressions. But Let's have a let's have a uh, hear of it. This is cold start, right? Cold start. All right. Oh, oh that's mean. Guys, we are on the Harley. Far out it is comfy. This seat forward position is actually really, really nice. I gotta say, I uh, always thought it looked a bit cringy, but man, is it comfortable. Super, super comfy. Oh, it sounds like a beast. Let's give it a moment and we'll pull out. Let's see if it's got much torque. It's a 1200, so. Oh, this is awesome! The engine sounds amazing! <laughs> Alright. I definitely see why people buy Harleys and Cruisers. i got to say, I used to think they were a bit, you know, a bit of a poserish kind of bike. But man, this is nice! Oh, it's actually got a lot of a good amount of torque, and just the sound is beautiful. You feel like such a badass on this. <laughs> the gearing is so interesting. Got a got to ride it like an old man so I'm not going to be smashing through the gears but this is a 2005 and it just it feels incredibly smooth in terms of obviously the engine vibrates the big big v-twin but the gears and the clutch and everything and the brakes they feel incredible all right on a bit of a quicker road now I could see myself owning one of these for sure. Maybe not at this point in my life, but it's actually freaking nice. And you know, I do a lot of two up riding um, with my partner and that's why we've got the V-Strom, but I wouldn't be opposed to one day maybe getting one. You know, maybe another 20, 30 years time. But man, this engine vibrates like crazy. Look at this thing. Wow. <laughs> it sounds so cool. This is a very good example. It's only, it hasn't even got 5,000 kilometers yet. Um, and you can tell, just looking at it, it is so clean. I really got to get used to this um, foot positioning, like it's so different to what I'm used to out in front. But it feels so natural. I 
Oh, another thing I didn't know, and I don't know if this is just Harley specific or it's the case on other cruisers, but you've got the left indicator on the left hand side and the right indicator on the right hand side. So I find that interesting. That's um that's different to the Jap bikes. Oh that D cell, the exhaust is bloody awesome. Oh. Alright, I'm about to get on the freeway. I mean this is where they're designed to be on, so we'll see how it handles. This is a beast! Now we've got a bit of peak hour traffic, so just gotta be careful. But this will cruise all day. Probably actually drop a gear. This is so comfortable. I'll probably look really weird though because I've got my adventure helmet <laughs> on a Harley. I can't say I've ever seen that before, but oh well, I'm having fun, who cares? All right, so freeways handles beautifully. This thing you can just sit all day. It's like a couch, really. That's the best way to describe it. Like a couch. Brakes aren't too bad. The turning is something different, like Just feel like a menace on the road. Man, another thing that's really nice, and I mean this is probably the case on, on all road bikes, um, but it's, it is really nice to have your feet planted on the ground. Um, having ridden mostly dual sports and adventure bikes, uh, and me not being that tall, I, uh, I'm usually tippy-toeing, so it is good to have that. Not that even, it's not even the confidence, it's just a comfort thing. It's just really nice here at the lights. Just in my couch potato leaning back. Beautiful. All right. Man, it, it honestly rips. And this isn't even like a fast Harley. This is actually, I guess, you know, pretty slow. Um, but plenty for the road. You really don't need much more. It's the torque on this thing that, that feels great. It's got a lot of pulling power. Okay, let's give it a bit of rip underneath here. Whoa, that's mean. That's really bloody mean. So overall, what do I think? Well, I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. It's super comfortable. It, it really doesn't feel like a pig on the road. Like, obviously it's heavy and you need to, um, it handles a lot differently to other bikes I've ridden. But I've come to realize why people buy Harleys and you know, it's not about, uh, I guess it's not so much about the performance side as it is about how you feel when you're riding it because, I don't know, you just feel cool with the exhaust sound, the look of the bike. I mean, when I was younger, I wasn't the biggest fan, but the more that I see them, the more I can appreciate the look. But now having ridden one, the full experience of, you know, the exhaust and 
the seating position and everything it, it, it really is a pleasant experience now would I enjoy taking this through the twisties I don't know that's for another day we'll uh, we'll see how that goes because the, the handling is interesting especially with the front wheel uh, being so like angled far in front of you it feels different but it doesn't feel bad I'm sure it's fine um, you just obviously can't push it but it just sounds so awesome I know this was a little bit different to the uh, to the content that I usually put out uh, being mostly adventure bike enduro and stuff but I just love motorcycles I, I really do I don't care what they are I just love bikes I love riding them so you know what on this channel you're gonna get a bit of everything obviously adventure riding and, and going off-road is uh, is my passion but I definitely don't mind trying out uh, different things so yeah my dad's got a bunch of other bikes as well that I'll, I'll need to do rides on um, I'm gonna feature the V-Strom a little bit more on the channel because lately I've been dominating it with WR250R content but yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll uh, catch you in the next video